If you're looking for inspiration for which specific multi-pitch rock climbs to do in the Italian Dolomites, then stay tuned. Because in this video I'll introduce you to Via Cinquentario Gam, an absolutely impressive 540 meters, 17 pitches, so-called sport climb in the Italian Dolomites. And this magnificent adventure is located on Sashian Park near Paso Gardena. However, there's a few remarks that you should know before embarking on this route, but we'll cover that later in the video. So Via Cinquentario Gam is a really great adventure and a really fun day. We can't cover all 17 pitches in this video, so I'll only highlight a few. According to the Rock Facts uh, guidebook for the Italian Dolomites, uh, Via Cinquentario Gam is a sport climbing multi pitch. I guess that's true in the sense that the 6A and 6B uh, pitches are well bolted, but for the remaining pitches, the distance between the bolts is quite long. However, all ballet stations are equipped with bolts uh, and rope threads, uh, so you can upsile off if you uh, find the route to be too hard. The first four pitches are 6B, 6A, 6A and 6B. So you will discover in the beginning whether this is a climb for you. So I would say that if 6B is your limits, then you should probably look for something different because it will be a very long day. The pitches on the Tinconentario Gam traverse a lot and especially in the first section there's a lot of loose rock. And I was actually a bit disappointed about the quality of the rock here. But as you progress further on Via Cinquentario Gam, the rock becomes more solid and the quality much better. About one third up Via Cinquentario Gam, there'll be a huge ledge. This is an excellent spot to take a break. Following this, there'll be a 5C uh, pitch of about uh, 30 to 35 meters. That's uh, quite uh, difficult to, uh, to navigate, especially on the top part. This will lead you to the eighth pitch, which uh, according to the guidebook is a quite easy uh, grade three traverse. However, uh, on the full uh, 60 meters, uh, there were probably two to three bolts. Uh, so this is definitely something where you should prepare yourself for a run out. Because especially on the last half of the pitch, it's very hard to put your own protection. And after this huge slap, the final 6B pitch of the Via Cinquentario awaits. And this is absolutely magnificent. You'll climb up a dihedral onto an overhang and into a chimney. And this is some of the most fun climbing I have ever done. After this Via Cinquentario Gam really eases out. It becomes much easier and there's actually only one 6A pitch awaiting. However, there are a couple of very long grade 4 C slabs that you have to climb as well. Uh, that's really, really badly bolted. Before starting climbing via Cinquentario Gam, you should evaluate your own climbing abilities and the time and efficiency of your climbing. According to the Rock Facts guidebook, this is a climb that should take between four to six hours. Um, and even though we were three people climbing in a team, we estimated this would probably take us about eight hours. In total, the whole climb consumed 11 hours and we had to top out in darkness. All three of us are quite the comfortable climbing 6B and we were quite efficient on the belay stations. In terms of gear, we brought 12 quick draws and our standard rack of multi-pitch anger gear, such as a couple of slings, some screw gate carabiners, our HMS carabiner and of course our belay device. But I would highly recommend bringing a small rack of cams too, which you would definitely consume. 
I wouldn't really call it Via Cinquenentario Gam uh, Sport Multi Pitch, I would probably more call it Mixed. You top out at the summit of uh, Sachampak and you can easily see uh, Valgadena down below. There's a track that would lead you down to the mountain and if you're heading towards Pasugadena, then that would take you about an hour. If you enjoyed watching this video, remember to hit the like button below and also watch some of the other videos that I've done from the Italian Dolomites, such as my guide to Tinkutori near Paso Falsarego. And if you have any suggestions on other great multi-pitch climbs in the Italian Dolomites, then leave a comment below.